I've recently started a campaign um, kind of raising awareness on colorism and other issues of human rights that affect persons in Jamaica. So I thought that, you know, coming on the fellowship for persons, people of African descent would give me a lot more exposure to what the UN mechanisms are that would help me to find ways to increase my reach, um, you know, increase human rights awareness in Jamaica. It's almost like a breakdown of racism or it's kind of transposing the concept of racism within one racial group. And I believe that that is also a remnant of colonialism. It's something that was enforced on us. It's something that was ingrained in us. So we have been led to believe that the lighter you are is the better off you are and the darker you are is not just the, the less off you are, but also the uglier you are. For example, when you look at the healthcare system, uh, the Jamaica Medical Doctors Association actually came out this year with a report that stated that discriminatory practices had been going on within the healthcare system where persons of darker skin received um, less favorable treatment than those with lighter skin in healthcare. You know, there's so many different rights that, that we realize we still haven't been able to maximize and are optimized in Jamaica, you realize you can't help but be a human rights offender because in reality there are still a lot of persons who don't have access to the basic rights, the basic necessities. So I, I do, I mean it, it's a term that's still growing on me, <laughs> but I think at, at the core it's something that I do believe in.